All right, here we go. White flag. I've been catching Ricardo, and I finally okay, got DRS. Final lap. Final lap of the race. Hey gearheads and welcome on back into F122 My Team Career Mode. I'm Alan Bailey. It is season number one, race number 18 as we head out for the Japanese Grand Prix here in just a little bit. Give you a look at the point standings. George and I are sixth and seventh respectfully. Bailey Auto Sport right now sitting a cool fourth ahead of McLaren. Uh, in the constructors, that's kind of the goal by the end of the season. I think it's very doable. Um, and you want to look at our season results real quick. Uh, as you can see, we do have a victory. We picked it up at our engine manufacturer's hometown Grand Prix, which was massive for us. And then the last race, as you can see, one of our worst in a few races. But that's kind of street racing and me personally. So let it slide but this is our last race before our home grand prix and then our quasi second home grand prix the mexican grand prix i'm really excited about those two races uh but i i don't know i do think we have some more podiums in us maybe another win here i think we're gonna have a really good shot at our hometown grand prix but we're gonna have to honestly wait and see um as far as the r d is concerned you can see right here we are fourth behind Ferrari, Mercedes, Red Bull. Uh, we should hopscotch him here in the next couple of weeks with some massive aero upgrades. Uh, you could see two massive aero upgrades coming in uh, before uh, Austin, before the next race. Uh, if everything progresses like it should, we'll have to wait and see. And then in the vehicle, as you could see, I, I upgraded everything. We had engine issues for some reason in the last Grand Prix. And I was like, you know what? We're done with it. We're going to get everything right heading into this race, setting up for our home Grand Prix after this next race. So hopefully this will take care of all the engine issues. I know some of that stuff didn't need to get replaced, but it was like, you know what? Let's just start over, clean start. We'll start in the very back and then see if we can get some points here. Um, as far as corporate is concerned, we did sign Slingshot Fuel, who wants us to be on the podium uh, every week, which honestly I think is doable. Scoring um, 15 constructor championship points during a race weekend is a little tougher, I think, uh, but the goal payout here is so much better. So um, honestly, we're, we've got a good cash influx happening now, thank goodness, for the first time ever, because um, we do need some facility upgrades. We do need some just upgrades in general um you know across the board with with uh, the finances of it and honestly at this point you can see right there we're getting the low cash i'm kind of blocking it warning um and we need to sign a renewal with our with our teammate here when that comes about so we're going to start saving cash for that so without further ado make sure you mash that subscribe button so that you do not miss the f123 my team career mode when it launches in less than a month and Check out the F123 Breaking Point Season 2, Episode 2, Version 2 of the game when it drops next uh, month here in a few weeks' time. So mash that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the new content coming for F123. But for now, we are still running for some points here and there when we can, and maybe even a win when we can. Let's head out to the Japanese Grand Prix. Let's go! We come to you live today from the Mi Prefecture in the south of Japan's Honshu Island for a race that has seen many title deciders over the years. Some simple, some controversial, but all contributing to a legacy that makes the Japanese Grand Prix an indispensable stop in any Formula One season. 18 corners make up a lap of the incredible figure of eight Suzuka circuit, with 10 to the right and eight to the left, for a distance of 3.6 miles. Average lap speeds around here are fairly quick. If it stays dry, then expect somewhere in the region of 136 miles per hour. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Russell, Perez, Lando Norris, and Verstappen. Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Ricardo, and Oscar Piastri. Mick Schumacher, Gasly, Esteban Ocon, and Albon. 
Joe, Vettel, Valtteri Bottas, and Yuki Tsunoda, Magnussen, Latifi, Stroll, and Bailey. Now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. I mean, I don't want to, but I might. So yeah, we, we took all those penalties. I mean, we were basically replaced everything in the engine, gearbox, everything. Um, just to get the penalties out of the way so we got a fresh piece for our next race, uh, the hometown track. This one I'm pretty good at. We qualified second, would have been up there second, and I did not not notice that our teammate was uh, all the way up there in third, so I expect him to finish on the podium. I'm just seeing, but looking at the race strat, uh, 13 and a half on fuel, and uh, we will go ahead and do, yeah, softs to mediums around lap number six. Um, you know, we'll play it by ear. We'll see what happens, but uh, got to get through this field cleanly and keep this car in one piece. That's kind of the goal today. Let's see what we got. Let's go. Oh, man. Didn't want to shove it in there. Shoulda. Okay. Who is that? Magnuson? Calm down, bud. How you like it? Oh, oh, whoa. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, we're good. We're fine. We're good. We're all good, right? We're cool. We're cool. We're fine. We're getting physical, we're trying. I know I said I was gonna be smart, but maybe I'm not gonna be smart. Just trying to get around him, man. All right, I'll get him back. I said I'd get him back. I mean, I, th I feel like we got a pretty decent car, but I mean, we're stuck all the way in the back, so points today will be a challenge, but we're going to try. Didn't think that was going to work. Okay. I just got one on Botus. That's pretty awesome. Cool. Uh. Ah. That was a little dive bomby of me. Ah. Oh. on you. Woo. Approaching the pit window, and you're going to be on mediums. Got him. Brilliant. Nice move. Keep going. Got another one. Up to 13. Slowly but surely. Okay, the pit window's open, so let's box this lap. Box this lap. Yeah, I'm trying, man. I'm pushing. These tires got almost nothing left in them, but I'm trying. All right, we're good. Pitting here when we're supposed to, lap seven to 13. Oh yeah, hit all the buttons. I hit all the buttons and one of them worked, it's cool. Perfect job from you and the crew there, mate. We're delighted with that. Very good. 
George is in the pits. He's in the pits now. Looks like almost everybody's in the pits this time. So, come on, we got to get there before they get out. Looks like our teammate might be second. Might be. We're coming out behind Schumacher, 13th, right where we went in. Except we got some better tires that are a little bit warmer than Schumacher's. So we'll take that from you, sir. Thank you. I literally can't look up and see how far. Three seconds? Is that what I saw? Uh, 3.2. Okay, well, at least it's going down a little bit, right? Our gap to the car in front is 3.4 seconds. Did, did he just lie or did my own eyes just... No, he... No. My eyes light, okay. Focus. We're nice. We're trailing our teammate by 11.2 seconds. All right, here we go, white flag. I've been catching Ricardo and I finally okay, got DRS. Final lap. final lap of the race. I want points, plural. And I'm so much better through here. We're increasing our gap on the car behind by around a second a lap. I just need him to give me an inch anywhere. And I'm going to take it, but... uh, Screwed up that section, trying not to hit him. See you, Daniel. Leclerc wins. We're still fighting for this final point. Tell me our teammates on the podium. Tell me our teammates on the podium. We're coming home in the points and with the fastest lap, but tell me he made it in. All right, race over. Take care of the car Tenth. on the way in. I'll take it, man. And with that, another year of Formula One draws to a close and a new World Drivers' Champion is declared. Another entry added to that prestigious list of the sport's most incredible drivers. Not just victory today then, but the championship as well. What a spectacular season they've had. Congratulations to the whole team. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix, and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. Yes, that is Russell on the podium. First podium with the team, which happens to be our, our engine manufacturer's championship winning race. This early on, I guess it is time. I'm blown away that I was able to get into the points, honestly. And the fact that we got two because we got the fastest lap is crazy. Um, but it shows, man. If we, we were, we, we, we barely qualified second. Leclerc got us just by a nose. Literally maybe one or two of the fins on his front nose, seriously. Um, so that tells me that when we do do season two, somewhere down the line, we don't know when we're going to do season two on this career mode, um, because we're doing 23 as soon as it comes out here. Uh, so whenever we pick this back up, we're going to be scary fast in theory, um, whenever we end up picking that up and it'll probably be like three, four, five years down the line, who knows, but man, I had an absolute blast sincerely, um, that was a lot of fun. It was frustrating. I loved section one. I was really good through section one. Not sure how, but I was. And um, 
Yeah, I mean, section two, we were okay. Section three, we were, we were okay. Obviously, we had the fastest lap, but damn, I, I knew I was flying through that, um, you know, sector uh, one. That's where the difference was made. And honestly, you know, I, I still had fun. I wish we could have, you know, actually contended for this one, but, you know, Hopefully we don't have to start in the back in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, mash that subscribe button so that you do not miss a video when F1 23 My Team Career Mode comes out and Breaking Point 2. I cannot wait for those videos, man. I'm very much looking forward to it. I do. I have already pre-ordered, so I'm getting it when it drops that Tuesday. Can't wait for F1 23 my, for F1 22 my team career mode I'm Alan Bailey we will see you out at the track bye gearheads <laughs>